Hi guys, GK here. It's Thursday. I can't wait to midnight tonight because you know what that means. Every Friday at midnight, we see our leadership bonus checks and then they're in our bank account the next day. So it's pretty exciting. I love Thursdays because I know that I'm going to do it. First thing I'm going to do is step to midnight, even if I'm tired, just to see that check. Uh, I know a lot of you do the same thing. You know, today's been a great day. I've been to the gym twice. I watched a great video from two executive, actually one executive director, one presidential director. And, uh, you know, it's being able to do what I want, when I want, how I want, with who I want. And all because I worked hard for a few years. I, I took a couple years of my life. I prioritized my time. I, I put away all the nonsense, all the negativity around me. I just shut everything out. I made a decision. I made a decision that I was going to just take all that out of my life. No more reality TV shows. No more naps if I, if I should be reading. Uh, no more, you know, party on Friday night if there's a meeting. And I just made a decision I mentally rehearsed all the challenges that I was going to have, and I said to myself, in two or three years from now, if I do this every week, it's going to compound to monthly goals being accomplished, and then quarterly goals being accomplished, and then and three years from now, I won't even recognize my life. And guys, three years later, you know, my life is in a totally different place, and I have a new vision board with even uh, a bigger house, and a, and a, and a nicer car, and, and a nicer vacation spot. And I think to myself, I'm going to achieve these things. I mean, I started out living in my mom's house with a 97 pickup truck making $500 a week and look where I'm at today. I mean, you know, uh, three years from now, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just double it. You know, as long as there's, I'm on this green earth, I can triple what I've done. Okay. Cause we have that potential to do that. So with that being said, you know, I feel great. I mean, if I felt any better today, I would think there's something wrong with me. I really would. And, that, and that's how really great I feel. That's how excited I am about the people in my life and the business that's in my life and, and the results that I'm getting from taking action. A lot of you will say to me, well, I read, I show up to meetings, I do this, I do that. I'm not having the same results you're having. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think you're putting your whole heart into it. I think you're showing up, but you're not really there, okay? And there's two different things. There's being busy doing the business and there's being busy productively doing the business. And I think a lot of you are just absorbing the information, but you're not changing the inside to go out there and be able to cold market people, be able to use the skills that you're listening to uh, because there's nothing else I can think of that would be stopping you from, from doing that. So with that being said, I want to talk about uh, a couple things today. One I want to talk about today, I, I actually bombed a uh, cold, cold prospect. I screwed it up. I pulled up in my car. Um, I was at a recycling center. I wanted to get two recycling bins from my new house. I wanted to buy them, and the guy helped me out. First thing I did, though, was great. I walked up, and I said, hey, guys, it's a great day, isn't it? And then one guy's like, no. The other guy's like, it sucks. And I went, Wow, these guys are like, they must hate their job at the recycling center. I said, guys, look at the weather. It's beautiful. And they go, nah. So I purposely was so excited because they probably were like, what the heck is this guy so excited about? We, we hate our day. And then once I paid him, I said, you know what? Thanks for helping me out. Here's my card. And he goes, what's this? I said, ah, it's, a, it's a business that you can start from home. And he goes, wow, you know what? My son just got out of college and he's looking for something. This would be great. What's the deal with? I said, it deals with telecommunications. He goes, all right, I'll give it to him. And then, guys, I screwed up. A PD, number 11 money owner. I got ahead of myself. I thought, you know what? I own a nice car. I have success. And I didn't realize that to him, he doesn't care who I am, what kind of car I'm driving. I am no different than I was when I was a director. And I got into it, guys. I told him it was energy because he said he was from New York. And I told him I get paid residually on customers. And the next thing you know, he's asking me, well, is it 50 cents a dollar on each? And is it one of those pyramid things? And I'm like, what's a pyramid? And he's like, you know, where you get paid from each other. I'm like, well, are you, are you at the top of your pyramid, the bottom of your pyramid? He's like, pyramid. He's like, I'm the boss. I'm like, so you're the top of the pyramid. So there's how many guys work here? He's like, eight. Can, can any of those eight guys ever get to your position? He's like, uh, not really. I said, well, there you go. You know, everything's a pyramid. But in my business, you know, I make 20 times more than my sponsor made. So, and that, I think that was it. He started shaking his head. I could tell that I lost him. He still took my card, but guys, it went from him being excited to, to give the card to his son to, I think, thinking, ah, that's one of those pyramid things. So I screwed up today, okay? Now, let's talk about people that are calling me or telling me, hey, you know what? I got somebody on the pre-launch website or, hey, I got somebody, you know, uh, in, I contacted somebody to do the business and then three months later, six months later, they didn't join with you. They joined with somebody else, okay? Guys, I mean, it's one thing if you bring somebody to a meeting and then, you know, the next day somebody takes them from you, okay? That's, that's against policies, but if you're talking to, I mean, I showed the plan to somebody one time and the, and the next week he joined with somebody else. I mean, but he was honest with me. He told me that, Hey, you know what? I have a couple of people that are showing it to me. He didn't know who I was back then. I was a brand new SD. But the point is, you know, if you talked to somebody or you asked somebody to do the business and they said no, or they really didn't see it from you, 
You can't get mad if they go out with somebody else. What you have to ask yourself is I asked my associate, why did they not join with you? Ask yourself, you know, are you posting stupid stuff on social media? Are you posting negativity on social media? 40% of the people that I see posting stuff about network marketing in general, not even just our business, I would never, ever, ever do business with them. Their page is they're saturated with too much stupid stuff about their own business. It's constantly, um, it, you know, it doesn't show any positive lifestyle. There's negativity on it. Too many selfies. If you're, if you're, if you have five thousand friends like I do, or you're a top money earner, or you're Beyonce, or you're somebody who's a bodybuilding professional, or you're a famous piano player, or you're a famous bingo player, you know what? Take all the selfies in the world you want. But if somebody doesn't know you, and you're not even like in the top of a company or the top of any industry, and you're taking all these selfies and 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 pretty much looking kind of passionately, I'd say, and then you bring somebody on your Facebook page and they see that, they're gonna be like, why would I want to do business with this person? This person looks like you know. They should be uh, making B movies for you know night a night nightly movie or something like that. So guys, keep that in mind, okay? So if 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 you are you know I've seen like there was an associate of mine, a good friend of mine last week. He tried to show the plan to somebody. The guy said he wasn't interested, and then a week later he joined with one of my other friends. Okay, what are you gonna do? I mean, he obviously felt more comfortable with that person. Okay, but you can't cry about it. You know, when that guy didn't join under me, I just said, okay, well he's happier with that guy. The guy that he joined under was more successful at the time than me. And that's what swayed him because that guy was a very successful businessman. Uh, he ended up getting uh, out of the company in our company and didn't, you know, he's not even in, he's not even in the company anymore. And I'm actually a top money earner. So who, who, who would have known? But on paper, he looked better. And I didn't take it personal. You know what I mean? It just made me hungrier. So with that being said, I want to talk about one last thing. Why are people not joining your business? Guys, this business is like a bank, okay? What do banks do? You make deposits and you do withdrawals. You make deposits and you do withdrawals. Some of you are constantly trying to withdraw without putting a deposit. And what does that mean? That means that you'll call somebody, you gotta get on my pre-launch website, or you gotta do this thing, you gotta do this for me, you gotta help me out, or you gotta, you gotta check out my video. And that's the only time you call them. You, oh, you're just going to, what happens when you withdraw money from the bank with no deposits? You, you actually get a fine because you overdrafted, you overtook money. So if you're, if you're always just you know, withdrawing from people, and never depositing and having relationships with people, you can't just call them out of the blue and be like, hey, I want you to join this business. They're not going to join your business, okay? Because you're not putting in deposits. You got to be putting in deposits. You got to be building relationships and then withdrawing when the time is to withdraw. And then those people will hopefully look at your business or join your business. I had a customer of mine who canceled me because in his eyes, I only called him every time it was time to renew him. He was a, he was a, you know, a friend of mine, I guess. We really didn't hang out a lot. We really didn't hang out a lot before he became my customer, but he got offended once he became my customer. He thought that I would want to hang out with him more, and I didn't because I'm very busy. And he likes to go to bars and hang out and do stupid stuff, and I like to, to do productive stuff. So I'm not going to hang out with somebody like that because your reference group is responsible for 99% of your success. So putting him in my reference group is going to mess me up. And, and, and relationships in your life, whether it's a spouse, your boss, a coworker, anything negative or positive, your happiness is, is basically determined by 85% of your uh, relationships, 85% of it by your relationships that they're negative or positive. And that's proven facts through Harvard for 30 years of studying. So he eventually, after two years of being my customer, when I called him to renew him uh, because I didn't want him going on the variable rate, he told me he was done with my company. He wasn't going to be my customer anymore because all I ever do is call him when I need him. So keep that in mind. Make deposits. Don't always make withdrawals. Watch what you're doing on social media. Uh, and guys, I am so excited about the future of our company and the future of so many of you listening, so many of you have no idea how your life is going to change overnight. You're going to be plugging in, plugging in the same mundane things, the, the same routine over and over, listening to the presentation, you know, going to meetings. And you're going to be wondering, you know, over and over, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And one day, pow, the universe is going to open up. It's going to give you everything you want. And you're going to be still going to those meetings because now you know what it feels like to change your life and you want to change other people's lives. And it's just a great feeling. And I'm really excited for all of you because it can happen just like that. If you take all the necessary steps and take the action that makes it happen. Okay, guys, have a great day. I know the video is a little bit long. If you made it this far, um, I give you a lot of credit. Okay. Cause it's nine minutes and uh, most people get bored in two. Take care.